In this series of videos, I'm going to offer my perspective on some topics that pertain to the Second Amendment, guns, our community, the industry, and our history. I'm calling it Mansplaining 2A. Here we go. Terror among the masses is fostered. So mental health can apply to an individual, but is there not mental health for a community as well? What kind of doctor would allow a terrorist, a single individual, to reign terror over a group or an entire culture? How is it permissible for so-called brainiacs to allow the manipulation of an entire group of people based on the actions of an individual psychopath or even a small group with an agenda? And by this I mean when there's a, a mass murder and they use uh, item politically motivated so to get the results that they want. Why does why is it okay? Why is it condoned for the brainiacs to lean into that and allow the population to be um, traumatized by the events that are less likely than being struck by lightning or less likely than any other you know shark attack or one of those things. Um, why is this terror among the masses fostered? And why is that allowed? Why are we not focusing on the fact that they're, that they're, they're uh, this theater, this clutch my pearls and, and gasp every time an atrocity happens, and then they ask, or they blame our property, the property that we own, for the actions of the individual when the uh, function of, you know, the, the I guess the, uh, the uh, media that creates and fosters that uh, is, you know, one of their resources, or at least it's a resource that we all have access to and they could just as easily stand on the, on the stage and, and calm people down as a group instead of, uh, falsely getting people or getting people worked up uh, to suit their agenda. So that's my, my uh, question for this one. Why or is terror among the, mass to, among the masses actually fostered? And if so, why is it tolerated? Let us know in the comments what you think. And as always, thanks for watching and listening. So let us know what you think. We'll be watching the comments wherever you find the video over on gunstreamer.com or on guntube.org. Thank you for supporting our projects. If you'd like to buy us a cup of coffee, check out our Patreon channel. The, the guys and gals of GunWebsites.com encourages you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thank you for watching GunWebsites.com.